So hello everyone, I'm back and welcome back to another tutorial and here we have a sort of scene or scenario, basically the same thing. And what you just saw is a sort of realistic flashlight sort of thing where like uh, yeah, you move your flashlight and the camera sort of, the camera lags behind. So yeah, you're moving your flashlight first and then you're looking in that direction. It's basically a realistic camera and flashlight scenario and uh, I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. So right, at the moment, I've now reverted the scene back to what it used to be. And uh, yeah, this is just like a normal camera and normal flashlight. And yes, I've uh, reduced these sort of um, uh, sounds and music just to you know get back into the sort of tutorial phase but yes we have the flashlight like this and it's just a normal unity flashlight it's just dead in center and not like uh being realistic or anything like that although it's still the same sort of shape so hang on a moment so here we have the basic flashlight it's not even looking realistic or like really special or cool or anything it's just a basic flashlight so first of all i want to show you how to get like a more cooler stylistic or like you know realistic flashlight so first of all let's get our spotlight off of the uh first person character camera whatever and over here we've got this thing called cookie now if you're using i think maybe unity 2021 and above uh i think I don't know if cookies are allowed, or I don't know if they work, but if you're using uh, 2020 and below, I think they still work. So to get a cookie, all you really need to do is either uh, get like a texture and... Uh, actually, if I uh, go to like, say, black, I think, uh, this is like a image thing that I created. So let's go over to texture type and we've got cookie there. I'm not going to change it, but if you got a texture from the internet or you made your own texture and you sort of stylized it, then you can change the texture from a default texture to a cookie. And then I didn't think you would need to actually, let's change it to cookie. And then go for, a, when you click on the light type, um, oh wait, no, no, it needs to be grayscale, right, so, but apart from that, let's just change it back to sprite, so let's not worry about the whole changing a texture from a texture to a cookie, let's just worry about actually applying the cookie to the flashlight. So to get the cookie uh, onto the flashlight, uh, you can actually get a um, a bunch of different cookies from the Unity standard assets from 2018 and I've got them imported right here so let's just go to effects uh, revert and we have light cookies and we've also got light flares but let's just uh, focus on the light cookies and textures and we've got a uh, flashlight cookie actually can we yeah we can okay so this is the flashlight cookie the sort of realistic one I, I guess we've got the irregular one which has like a, a weird texture to it and we've got a very I don't know hard outline of it I don't actually know what this one will look like I'm gonna have to look at that in a minute but we've also got the uh, the default actually hang on a minute how will that look the light soft one what wait wait what wait, wait, wait what what uh what um, oh, oh, I've never actually seen that. Okay, so what is the light hard cookie then? Oh. Okay, so what's the light square cookie then? Oh, that's weird. I kind of like that. But anyway, uh, let's just uh, apply the flashlight cookie to it. And there we go. It's just like that. Now, to get the flashlight to be moving before the camera moves you need to first take the well since the spotlight is a child of the camera so the camera uh, well the spotlight is always following the camera let's just take the, uh, the spotlight 
and make it a child of the first person controller, so of the actual body itself. And now, if I play it, uh, the spotlight is not going to move with it. Um, oh, it moves with the car the um, the body, but doesn't move with the uh, camera. So that's why it's like that. So now, to make the spotlight move like the camera, let's just go to the camera and let's move our first person look script. Let's just copy the component, go to the spotlight, and then uh, paste it. Now. To paste it, if you don't know this, to paste it, uh, click on or right click on one of the components and then paste component as new. That's how you do it. If you didn't know, but if you didn't know, then that's good. So now let's just play the game and see what that looks like. So, yeah, it's basically the same, isn't it? There's no difference. Even though the spotlight is not a child of the first person camera. It's no different. So now, if you want to make the spotlight move like the camera, but the camera don't move, just go to the first person camera and remove the uh, component. And what this will do now is this. Well, again, the camera is moving the body of the first person uh, character. But the uh, flashlight is moving like the camera which is awesome. So now, if you want to make the flashlight move and the camera move after it, what you want to do is you want to make a new game object. And first of all, uh, wait, actually, yeah. So put the first person camera inside of the game object and bear with me for just a moment. I've got a script here called Offset Flashlight. So let's go ahead and look inside of Offset Flashlight. And here, I'm not going to explain what every nook and cranny means in this script, but all I'm gonna to say to you is that if we use a vector offset, if you, didn't, if you don't know what vector is, it's uh, three points. It's X, Y, Z on a 3D world scene thing in magic and we are getting the transform the position minus the go follow now what the go follow is it's the spotlight it's a spotlight object although then again uh at the moment i'm just going to show you how to make the flashlight uh sort of go first and the camera lag behind it but afterwards, I'm going to show you how to make it sort of look realistic in a way. Because, like, uh, there's games like uh, Wrong Floor. And Romart. That did this sort of uh, flat and that that sort of realistic flashlight look, where yeah, the flashlight just moves before the camera moves. It looks so realistic, and it's really really cool. But yeah, first of all, I'm gonna just show you how to make the camera lag behind the flashlight. So to do that, we are going to drag the offset flashlight onto the game object, and go into the game object and. With the go follow, we're going to put the spotlight from the first person character and put that into there. Now, first of all, let's just change the speed to maybe about five or something. And now let's go ahead and see what actually happens. So I'm going to move my thing. So there we go. Look, the flashlight moves before the camera and the camera sort of smoothly catches up with the flashlight and this is such a good ball um um what even is that wait hang on a moment
Okay, so I fixed it. So, okay, I found out what it was, and what it was is I'm in the uh, spotlight flashlight component, and I had this thing called a flare on, and I completely forgot about the flare, but that's what it does, and because of the flare, I don't like the flare. But so that's how you do a sort of realistic flashlight in a way. You just uh, make the camera follow it by. Uh, let's look at the script again and what is happening here is yeah the go follow is the f uh, spotlight and the vector offset is the it's like the mm, it's like the difference between the the position of the game object which is this game object which is what the camera is on and the position of the spotlight. So there's a difference between the camera and the spotlight. That's what the vector offset is. And what it's doing here with the update is that it's constantly updating the position of the offset with the go follow and the vector offset. To be fair, I don't fully understand this whole script myself, but just apply this script to the game object which has the camera on it not on the player object itself not on the player character but on a separate object which is following the player character that's how you do this because there's actually another tutorial by speech tutor who did a smooth flashlight it's basically the script but instead of the flashlight following the camera the camera is following the flashlight. That's all I've done, really. But now, to make the sort of uh, flashlight more realistic in a way, we're going to change a few things. We're going to tweak a few, a few things. So firstly, we have the spotlight, and we've got the first person look on the spotlight to act as the camera. But now, let's just remove that. And I've got this other game object here and it's, it's it's acting like the camera but it's not actually the camera it's it's like pretending to be the camera so let's just re-enable that and i've already got the first person look on that object as well so now let's just child this spotlight underneath the game object and it's gonna yeah, be the exact same thing so yep it's going to be the exact same thing. But to make the flashlight a bit more realistic, we're going to actually move the flashlight so like it's actually at the uh, flashlight holding position. And we're just going to like move it to like maybe there, maybe something like that. And there we go. So, it's a little bit more... Oh, 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 you can actually see my player character. Oh, my God. So, the reason why we could see our player character is because the game object which is following the flashlight, it shouldn't actually be following the flashlight. It should be following the game object which the flashlight is a child of. So, let's just put the game object that the spotlight is a child of into the spotlight here of the uh, offset flashlight. And now, let's go ahead and see what actually happens. So, okay, you can still sort of see my uh, player character in a sort of way, I think. It's sort of glitching a little bit, but um, to be fair, the only way to uh, combat that is to make the flashlight sort of go forward a little bit. That's how you do it. And let's, ha let's see the results now. Yeah, the results are much better. It's, it's a more um, realistic flashlight. And if we sort of make the flashlight a little bit uh, more open. Oh yeah, that flashlight looks really, really nice, honestly. Now, I don't know how to make this sort of scene even more darker. I've tried to make the scene completely pitch black, but it just won't do it. But that's ultimately how you make a realistic flashlight and I will probably put this uh, project in the description so that you guys can uh, understand fully how to do it and play around with it yourselves but that is how you do a realistic 
flashlight. So thank you so much for watching this tutorial on how to make a realistic flashlight. Um, I'm hopefully going to be doing more tutorials that are more specific rather than just oh how to make this, how to, well actually that is what I'm planning on doing, uh, making more tutorials on how to make this, how to make that. I don't know on what specifically though yet but if I find things that have not got many tutorials on or basically in any tutorials on then I will make a tutorial on that to help you guys make your games look more cooler and stylistic and stuff like that but thank you so much for watching everyone and I'll see you guys in the next video peace